Keelan introduces the John Player Tops. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, a very warm welcome to us here live at the Gaiety Theatre for the national final of the John Player Tops for 1988. Can we depend on some support here tonight? It's very important. Yeah. Now, there's a few things we must say before we do anything. That's also, I just want to mention at the start that over 60 shows took part in this contest during the year. Some 9,000 people were involved. Obviously, they can't all be here because the stage is too small. So I think the least we can do for them all around the country is give them a round of applause for their efforts. Now, this evening we have an old Leinster final, which is the first time, very first time, the John Player Tops. I presume we have supporters from Matt's Lone with us tonight. <laughs> The important thing to remember is that they, they all need your support, all the people behind us here. And of course the people from Athlone are here to support Ericsson's from Athlone. I also presume from the length and breadth of Dublin, people have come here, have indeed flocked for the ESB, Musical and Dramatic Society. Yeah. I have, I have a very slight problem, a very slight problem, in that my dad comes from Dublin and my mum comes from Athlone. Which means none of them want me, because I'm a spy for everybody. Now, normally in any variety show, there's uh, so many people back behind me here. In this event, there's somewhere in the region of 200 people behind me. So let's pray to God they don't all get nervous at the same time. we are in large trouble there. So now, we'll meet the ESB later on. And I'd like you now, firstly, to welcome the first of our finalists in this year's John Player Tops, L.M. Ericsson Limited in Aslone, who decided, by the way, to bring along a minister for support. Now that is support. I'd like to welcome the Minister for Education, Mary O'Rourke. She's with us here this evening. <laughs> the producer is Pascal Goff, the choreographer Mary McDonough, Marie Flynn and Mary Berry are the group leaders, and the musical director is Deirdre Heelan. Will you please welcome the show called Hysteronics, L.M. Erickson Limited, Athlone. <laughs> No, no, I don't. Do you know something? It took the Lord three days to make the heavens, the stars, the sun, the moon, the sky. What do you think he didn't do the four? I suppose he spent the four making years. Oh, Jamie! <laughs> oh, look at him. He 
pleasure man and an apple in his hand. Come to me, my golden delicious, and take a bite out of my apple. Oh, me, Aunt Jane, you're joking. No, 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 I don't think I should. Oh, yes, you should. I am all right. Oh, no, 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 it's a sin, it's a sin. Ah. Let's see how you do the driving. <laughs> ah, Fred, look at the big crack in me wheel with all them dinosaur footprints on the road. Well, who's going to fill them in? What of a party for that known as the Footprint Filling Party. The who? The Footprint Filling Party, the FF party, at the Fianna Fáil party. Well, can they cover them up? Who, the Fianna Fáil party? Should they cover up anything? <laughs> now we are Fred and Barney and we have to say this country is in a deplorable way With gross unemployment, high taxes and strikes Sure, back home in bedrock we haven't the likes Your TDs are driving around in big cars Drinking cheap booze in their duty-free bars If you had any sense you'd all take the first bus And come back to the Stone Age and live there like us Poor Desi O'Malley is down on his knees Pleading with yuppies to join the PDs He got Mary Harney and a rebel or two Who couldn't find anything better to do He told everyone as a sign of good faith He'd give up his pension to help out the state But each of his colleagues just shook their head and voted themselves a big increase instead. Now the revenue commissioners decided to get tough when they saw their VAT receipts just weren't high enough. So they sent the 
tax collectors out to every pub and shop Just to check the books and make sure all the fiddling had to stop So they confiscated beer and meds and chocolate bars Those naughty traders didn't have a chance They took away their houses and their motor cars And one or two were left with nothing but their underpants Then along came a general head up in sissy gent He was followed by the special branch no matter where he went Although he did have a job, they knew he was no fool Because he had four cars, two houses and a swimming pool One day, RTE asked him for an interview He led them all around the city on the merry chase But when at last he was cornered by the camera crew With one hand in his pocket and the other on his face He says, leave me alone, I am not a criminal I am not a villain, I'm a decent honest soul Please don't be mad with me Just, Just try to understand, you see I had to rob a bank or two to supplement the all <laughs> And all we have to say to you is Yabba Solution, introduce the rod license. Ah, oh, history 
with you, Brendan Daly, back from his fishing trip on the Nile. How are you, Caesar? And what did you catch? Well, I didn't catch any fish, Caesar. But wait till you see what I did catch. Hit it to him, fellas. <laughs> Roxanne. Oh, how great is my love for her. She is everything a man could ever ask for. And I can hardly wait to ask her for it. Oh, would that I were not too shy, too craven and too slow. A friend I need, my case to plead. Why, here comes Cyrano. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
You know, I went to the doctor this morning. I said I got a boil on my nose. He said you got to watch that. I said I can hardly take my eyes off it. Oh, Bergerac. You know, they named a jockey after my nose. Who was that? Lester Pickett. He's on the inside straight now. Scratch my nose, will you? You're closer to it than I am. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I can smell the carrots cooking back home in Clonowen. I need your help. You can't have her, it's her day off. But there is a young maid of the town. Is that a riddle? I'm good at them. A girl called Jennifer Pitts went wading up to her ankles. But that doesn't rhyme. Wait till the tide comes in. Keep moving, keep moving. Uh, why? I'll keep the adjudicators busy. But I was referring to the fair Roxanne. Oh, I love her, but I cannot tell her. How I envy you, your eloquence, the constant flow of golden words. Well, that's true, that's true. Yet I, lame of speech, with none of your tempestuous torrent of verbal vivacity, a mute, yes, mute, utterly speechless. God, you could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you help me? All right. If you stand in the shadows and speak words of love, then Roxanne will think it is I, and I shall win her heart. All right, then. You mean you'll do it? Yeah. Oh, how can I possibly thank you? Money. No, 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 more than that. More money. <laughs> How's Bacon down there? It is the fair Roxanne. No one in Ericsson's is more graceful, more petite. There she stands, so young, so fair, the height of my ambition. She is unique, I ought to speak. You ought to see an optician. <laughs> my willy is weak. Pardon? <laughs> my will. Is weak. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, why am I so shy? I ought to plead in person. You ought to plead in sanity. Hi, is there any down there at all? Oh, oh, well, get on with it. Dost thou want me to speak? Oh, I dust, I dust. Okay, you dust and I'll polish. <laughs> get on with it. Uh, tell her this. Your lover pants to be discovered. Your underpants are in the cupboard. <laughs> Give me your hand, which will show that I am your amorata. Would you like a sandwich, ham or tomato? <laughs> you could win my heart with your wooing embraces. C could he make a start for you doing your braces? <laughs> you great ugly fool, what do you think you're doing? You great ugly fool, what do you think you're doing? I got that right. No, and well, I never did. Ah, go on, think back. You, you, you ruined everything. Uh, Tell her I love her, I adore her, and I want to marry her. Here, meatloaf, he adores you, he loves you. <coughs> I started, so I'll finish. He loves you, and he wants to marry you. Oh, big up! Oh! How are you, how are you? Oh, God, look at that. She's playing her <coughs> together. Thank <laughs> you. 